Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, we are going to talk about a new operating system that is basically help you to add Docker containers from one single console. So the name of the OS is Casa OS and today we are going to install it on a Raspberry Pi 4, 4GB version and check out its working, how it work and how we can go ahead and install the Docker repositories on this particular OS and check how it works. So let's do it. First of all, let me just go ahead and take you to the Casa OS website. So as you can see, it's right here, your home cloud OS. And this is the command that we need to use to install it on our Raspberry Pi. But before doing that, we need to install our operating system, Raspberry Pi OS Bullseye. I'm using a 4GB version of Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to install x86 version. For that, let me just go ahead and connect the drive to the computer. Now the drive is connected and let's go ahead and open Raspberry Pi Imager. And from here, we need to choose the operating system. So let's select Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. And from here, we need to use Control Shift and X. This will open this console and it, I'm using a Mac OS. So it's asked me to put the system keychain or we can just deny it and it will open this session for me. So let me just select to always use and let's change the name from here and name it as casa os and from here we need to enable ssh and we can set the username and the password now for the wi-fi i need to put the password here and from here set local setting asia kolkata and keyboard layout is us now let's save, leave the options as it is and now choose the storage. I'm using a 32 gigs of SD card and then click on write to write the image and yes. So it will take some time. Let me fast forward the video. Now you can see uh, the device is ready. We can remove the SD card. So let's remove the SD card first and click continue and close this window. Now let's take out the SD card and plug it into the Raspberry Pi and turn it on. So the Pi is turning on. In between, I'll check the IP address of my Pi. For that, I'm using an app from my phone. The name of the app is Fing. I'll leave the link in the description. You can check that link from there. And you can install it on your phone. And once you install it, it will scan your network. And so you will have all the connected devices on your mobile phone. And we have already provided the information while installing the operating system on the Raspberry Pi. So it will automatically connect to the Wi-Fi, available Wi-Fi network, and then give us an IP address. It will take around two to three or five minutes. So we need to wait. So it's not detecting uh the pi right now let me just go ahead and connect it to the router directly and then we'll check now the device is online and it's on the ip16 let's just go ahead and open terminal and try to connect to 192.168.1.6 yes and then the password that we have set while installing the operating system now we are connected. Let's move to the website, copy the command and paste it to the terminal. Hit enter. Now it will start installing Casa OS and it will take some time. Now we'll wait until it's installed and I'll be back. Now, as you can see, uh, the OS is running Casa OS version 0.3.7.1. And if you want to uninstall it, we just need to use this command Casa OS uninstall. So everything is right here regarding the Casa OS project, team, Discord team, website, and the online demo. Now, what we need to do is we just need to go to our web browser and use the IP address. So the IP address that we are using is six and let's hit enter. You can see 
the welcome screen for Casa OS. So let's just go ahead and create the account. Go. Now the username, usually we use PC, Mac, and then the password. Let's Mac decide the password. And all thing done. And you can see we have the screen in front of us. Now, the first thing you can see right here, it's sync your data. Use sync thing to sync your file between multiple device. So we can use this directly from here. Uh, for the demo, let's just go ahead and install sync thing. I have already put the video on my channel, how sync thing work and how to install and what the thing you need to do. So the image that it's pulling is from Linux server, sync thing. We already worked on the same image. Now here is one option, continue in background. So you either you can select this one and go back to install the other images that you require or just wait until this will finish. So let's just click on continue in background and then here is the beautiful app store. Once you click on it, you will see all the things that you required is right here that you can install on a single click directly from this app store. Now what we can do is we can move to some of the softwares that we used in previous videos. One of them is MB. So let's just go ahead and click on MB. Now it will take the default location for each software that you are going to install but you can also change the storage path and any other settings by modify the image files and image settings. Now let's just click on continue in background. Now you can see that the CPU is on 1% and the RAM is using 15%. Now the CPU rises to 5% that means it's working and you can see the same thing is right here. Now, once you click on it, it will directly take you to the sync thing page. So it's right here, sync thing unknown device. And it says allow anonymous reporting. So no, we can change the settings and everything from here. So I'll leave it as it is. I'm not doing anything here. Just waiting for MB to complete. In between, we can click on files, and here you can see all the things app data, documents, download, gallery, media. So we can either create a new file, new folder, upload a file or a folder. So for that, what I'll do, I'll upload a folder from my computer that I have created, that is the music folder. So it's 517.7 MB. Let's see how much time it will take. Let's close this one and check. So it's still working. You can see the CPU status. It's moving up to 52, 15% to 22%. Now it's slowly moving down. That means the software is installed in a moment. And you can see the network status right here. You can always check the visit settings from here. You can turn off and turn on the settings directly from here. Now it's on 2%. So the other option is also installed. The other software that we have used is also installed. Let's click on app store and uh, close it. I'm waiting for the other software. Let's click here to check whether the media is uploaded or not so we'll just upload one song that is around 10 mb so it's done let's move to root and you can see all the data of our sd card right here we can close the window from the x now it's still going up on 42 percent moving down let's refresh the screen or wait for it to complete uh, we have the mb right here let's click on it and it's not working i think the processing is going on we need to wait for another one to two minute now you can see everything is installed here you can manage your files and uh, 
let's click on app store one more time now uh, this is the one thing that we can use the pre-installed apps directly from here we can install them but we can also go on custom install and from here we can use our old method to install the docker images directly here and we can select the icon so we can also do it manually let's click on mb now you can see mb is up let's select english let's see how it works okay strong password new library content type is music because we have only one music file so i have changed the path uh, the music folder is not available we need to add it the image by going here and then mb so we can go to settings and from here we can see that only tv show as movies is there that's why the folder for music is not connected for that what we need to do we just need to copy this and then add the volume here let's paste it and uh, similarly we just need to copy this and paste it here and change the name to music Now once we do that and save the file, this is the way we can go ahead and change the settings of our current container. And once this is saved, uh, let me just close this. So this can be saved now. Let's just go ahead and open it. Uh, the new settings might take a moment. Now let's try one more time. Okay, it's working now. So it's working now. I have created a mixed content and a music. Now let's move back here and then go to the library section and uh, remove, sorry, remove this one and uh, remove this one as well and connect another new library. Content type is music. Now we can see the folder now because we have given the definition in the settings. Now you can see the music folder is right here as well. Once we select and click OK, it will map that folder to the location on which we have stored the data. And once we scan the library, it already scanned, I believe so. Let's move here and check the it's around and find it in the music section. So you can also do this changes like this, whatever you want to add that will be available here. This is the way you can add it your uh, already installed the images. Uh, the option is simple, right click, uh, do a click on these three dots and then go to settings. You can turn off the image as well and you can stop the sync from here as well. Now this is the Casa OS that you can see in front of you if you have any thoughts regarding this operating system how you want to install any other image that is not listed in the app store you can let me know in the comment section i'll try to show you how you can go ahead and install it and if you face any problem regarding this operating system you can ask me questions in the comment section so that's it for today. This is the way you can go ahead and install the Casa OS. If you like my work, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, press the bell notification for my latest video. Share this video with your family and friends who wants to know about Raspberry Pi and new operating system, how they can use Raspberry Pi. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice day.